In this class, we are going to learn how to read the non-uniform or unstructured CSV file with Oracle integration. If you look at the data over here contained in this CSV file, the first row if you see over here is containing 8 columns or the data if you consider it is having data in 7 columns and the first column is containing some identifier. Next if you see this rows, it is containing the line information of some product. In this case, I have considered the example of a laptop. So it is containing six columns information. Next, if you consider further, it is having the information that is for delivery address or address information, which is having an identifier like add followed by the line item like this laptop must be delivered to whom and the place. So if you see over here closely, the data in the first line is having eight columns and subsequently in other rows, we are having six columns and at the end for address, we are having four columns. With the help of native approach in Oracle integration, if you try to upload the CSV file as a file content to read the data with the help of inbuilt actions, then it will fail. Now I will show you the easiest method how we can read this non-uniform kind of data available in the CSV file with Oracle integration. Now before I go ahead and show you step by step approach how to develop the integration, we will have a quick demo on the use case. I have created this integration wherein I am passing the file name. So if I give the file name, it will look for the file in the FTP server. For this demonstration, I have already placed this file that is the sample CSV file in the FTP server. So once I click on run, it will try to fetch the data from the CSV file and it will transform the data. Now if I just scroll down, I am just showing the message of success. I am not showing the red data. Now here if you see on the right side, I am making use of the stage file action. Within that I am making use of read file operation. If I click on I button, it will show you all the data whatever it has read. Now if you closely observe over here, first row is the header information. It will tell when is the laptop got purchased and who is the customer and what is the invoice ID and so and so forth things. If you closely see, I have successfully retrieved all the information and the first column value is nothing but it is an identifier. I will tell you how it will be used while creating or reading this file. Next all the data whatever was present I have read successfully. Next coming to the laptops information, I had 5 laptops over here in the CSV file. Now those information I have successfully retrieved. If you see, I have retrieved all the information of 5 laptops. Next, coming to the address information, I have successfully retrieved the address information where laptops must be delivered that is for the person name and the location. So like this we can read the non-uniform or unstructured CSV data present in a file efficiently with Oracle integration. Now let's see how to build this integration. This is the very simple integration I have built. I have exposed this integration of ORRS protocol and the sample data that is input output you had seen in input I am just passing the file name. Next is I am making use of the FTP connection over here and the operation what I am selecting is download file operation which will download the file that is whatever name user provides while invoking this integration. In our case we had provided data.csv it will go to the FTP server download the file to this virtual directory which will be available for integration runtime. Once we have downloaded the file to our virtual directory that is a runtime directory of Oracle integration we will be getting a file reference for that file and the same we will be providing over here in the stage file action. Coming to the operation I am selecting read entire file. You can also select read file in segments and the file reference from our previous step I have provided it over here. Coming to the next if you provide the CSV file as is over here by selecting the CSV operation then your integration will fail because integration by default cannot pass the non-uniform data. So it cannot construct the schema file on its own for non-uniform data. Suppose if you have rows over here which is all uniform like all rows in this file are having 8 columns then you can upload the CSV file and read the data. Now here in this case we have to select this option that is XML schema or XSD document. I will show you how to create this XSD document shortly. Click on next. Here you have to upload the file that is the schema file which you have created from your local computer over here and then provide the root element name. In our case root element name is the root element itself. Click on next and that's it. Click on done. Once we read the file successfully, you will see the data elements created over here in the variable that is in the response of this read file response. That is the header information will be available over here. In our case, we have seven columns. All the seven information will be available over here. And for the line, we are having five columns. All the five information will be available over here in the line items. 
so it is an array which can loop over this line and we can save the data into the database or we can do data enrichment and pass the information to other application now we'll see how to create this xsd file so this is the xsd file how it looks like i had shown this is the root element which i have considered it for our use case in our case the root element is something else like invoice purchase something you can provide it over here next our file will contain information of three things one is the header information of the purchase next the line items like the laptops we had considered next is the address information now for each we need to define how this data will look now for demonstration purpose what i have considered is i have selected h as identifier for header l as identifier for lines and add as identifier for address information so that i am mentioning over here starts with h means header starts with l means line item starts with add means it is address information now if you see address we will have unbounded for each and every line items available but header will be same like it will be common but in your use case if multiple data you are getting then you can repeat such kind of elements and you can read the data next coming to the header we are having seven columns so each is separated by comma suppose in your case header is separated by a pipe delimiter or the semicolon you can provide it over here similarly how the columns are separated for line item or for the address information we can provide it over here you can also have a scenario where header information will be separated with the pipe delimiter and line will be semicolon and address information with the comma so possibility could be many as per the business requirement so like this we have to create the native schema file and we can upload it to our stage action over here so this file we can also upload into the read operation available in this ftp connection as well and read the unstructured or non-uniform data with our oracle integration very easily i am here in the official documentation page for native format builder wizard so this document highlights some existing application which was used prior to oracle integration by oracle it could be a on-premise application but the thing is the examples provided by oracle so that will be very helpful for us in order to create the native schema if you see there is the sample provided by oracle and it has shown how to read this kind of data where the data is separated by a star now if you just scroll down there are n number of examples provided by oracle like if there is data something like this in file how to read now if you just further scroll down if you are having a multi-line data how to construct the native schema so and so forth things you can make use of this document and you can implement the same to solve any of the business challenges in your project